एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Hi we all do observe changes around us and think that can we put these things into a mathematical form yes we can and the tool is differential equation my name is dr neelam welcome to is chand academy today we are going to start the topic differential equation we will learn what is differential equation how it can be written a degree and order of the differential equation if you need more detail then you can refer to the book from s chand publishing the details are given in the book the link is also given in the description box so you can get the book from there now we will start the topic of today that is differential equation so first of all let us try to understand what is the importance of differential equation differential equation is a tool of mathematics which can model a real life situation so a real life phenomena any physical phenomena can be modeled using differential equation we can take we will start with a very simple example that suppose we are having a cup of tea and we would like to know the temperature of this tea or any other liquid which we are having in our cup at any point of time so let us try to model this uh, the situation and we will convert it into a differential equation okay so we'll start modeling of differential equation uh, you, for uh, any liquid in a cup now let us say that let the temperature of the liquid be ft then since this liquid will be cooling down over a period of time and let us say that it is kept in a room where room temperature is capital t so let us say that the room temperature where the room temperature is capital t so the changes in this in the in the temperature of this liquid can be observed as df by dt will it will be proportional to the difference between the room temperature and the temperature of the liquid at any point of time t and with which can be written as df by dt is equals to k t minus ft where this k is the constant of proportionality and which will be greater than 0 because there will be uh, the, the change will be proportional to the difference between the room temperature and the temperature of the liquid in the cup now this is the differential equation which is of first order which will uh, learn in due course of time how to decide the order of a differential equation and this is called as newton's law of cooling newton's law of cooling so we have seen that since uh, is such a such a situation where we are having a liquid in a cup can also be transformed into a differential equation so how all the changes all the physical phenomena which are having changes in their nature so can be converted into a differential equation so it shows the uh, importance of the differential equation now let us start uh, uh, to write a differential equation so uh, how to write a differential equation so a differential equation differential equation it is an equation which consists of the derivatives and it's uh, the dependent variable and independent variable so when we have independent variable we have independent variable and we have a dependent variable
Now changes are happening in this dependent variable with respect to this independent variable. So wherever changes are there, differential equation will be written for the dependent variable. So let us say that this independent variable be x and let us say that this independent variable, uh, dependent variable be y. So the rate of change of this dependent variable with respect to independent variable will be written as dy by dx. So any relation between the derivatives of a dependent variable and its uh, 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 and the dependent variable will be written in terms of a differential equation. So a typical a differential equation can be written as this is function. So this is x y. So this is your independent variable. This is dependent variable and this is derivative of dependent variable. So this relation is called as a differential equation. Now there are many ways to write down the derivative of a differential equation. So the derivative can be written like derivative can be written as the first representation of derivative is dy by dx then it can be written as y dash it can be written as y dot and another uh, representation of this is dy where d stands for d by dx. So all these notations we use for writing down a differential equation. So that's how we will represent the differential equation. So now what, if, what do we mean by the solution of a differential equation? So if this is your given differential equation, let us say that this is 1 then the solution of 1, the solution of this 1 can be written as, can be written as a function ft which satisfies, which satisfies this equation 1. That is, f and if I write this x, y is let us say fx if, if this is x and this is f dash x and this equals to 0. So that's how the solution of the differential equation which is given as 1 can be written. So but till now we were talking about the first order differential equation. So let us try to see what do we mean by the order of a differential equation. So order of a differential equation. So order is basically decided on the highest order derivative uh, equation involves. So this is the order of a differential equation. The order of a differential equation is the highest order derivative. That is, if we say that d square y by dx is square plus 2dy by dx plus 3y is equals to 5, then in this one the highest order the highest order derivative is this for which the order is 2 therefore the order of this differential equation order of this differential equation is 2 okay now let us try to take another example suppose it is d3y plus y is equals to 0. Suppose such a differential equation is there, then in this one the highest order order of which in, uh, the, the derivative of highest order is 3 which involves in this differential equation. So this 3 will be the order of the differential equation. So for this the order of the differential equation is, so order is 3. So similarly, we can take many examples to see that how, uh, how the order of a differential equation can be decided, right? Now next important thing is degree of a differential equation. So degree also uh, involves uh, according to this, based on this order. 
So, degree of a differential equation Now, to decide the degree of a differential equation, we need to identify the order first and then we will find out the degree of the differential equation. So, the order of the highest order derivative, highest order derivative is called the degree of differential equation. The degree of a differential equation. That is, it is not necessarily that, uh, it is not necessary that if a uh, equation is of second order then the degree will be two. No. So, let us try to see that. Suppose we take the same example, dx is dy square, d square y over dx is square plus 2 dy by dx plus 3y is equals to 5. Now, in this one, the highest order involved is d square y by dx square and the power of this, this derivative is 1, which will be the degree of the differential equation. So, for this differential equation, the order is 2 and degree is 1, right? Now, let us take another example. Let us take another example. Let us say that dy by dx cube plus 3 dy by dx plus 4y is equals to let us say 6. Okay. This can be a function of 6, 6x. Now, in this one, the order of the differential equation is 1 because highest order involved is 1 but here the power of the highest order is 3 therefore degree of this differential equation will be 3 right therefore this is the order of the highest order in of the differential equation so that's how we will decide the order and degree of a differential equation which will be very important and based on which only the solution techniques will be depending so, in this part, we have, uh, we have discussed that what are the notations for differential equation, what is the order of a differential equation, what is the degree of a differential equation. In next part, we will study some more properties of a differential equation. So, for more details, you can go through the book which is from S. Chand Publishing. Details are given on this side and link is given in the description box. So, if you have liked the content, please like share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get the, the notification as and when new video will be uploaded thank you very much all rights resolved this video has been prepared for educational purposes only no part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder